Hello, I'm Dreamcast UK here from ismudgemore.com and today we are taking a first look at the C64 Mini. So here we go, so when you turn the power on your C64 Mini you get the language screen. So you can select the language that you wish, so whether it be English, Spanish, Italian, German or French. At the bottom right hand side you'll see the C64 logo, on the left hand side it will also show you if you want to turn the music on or off by pressing the preferred button. At the bottom of the screen here you'll see that there's a language button, there's also a spanner that shows you the settings and a monitor that shows you the display. In the settings screen you can choose the USB keyboard, the legal notices, the system information or return back to the factory reset options. So as just previously mentioned you've got the display settings here, so when you click on that it lets you choose if you want the pixel perfect, if you want the European 4x3, North American 4x3, North American 4x3 CRT, European 4x3 CRT or Perfect Pixel CRT. But I'm going to select the Perfect Pixel one, the standard one. So here on the main menu it shows you the name of the game on the right hand side and a screenshot of the game on the left hand side and also the title screen as well on the loading screen. So these are a collection of games, so there's Alley Cat. Let's start off with this is an alphabetical order. It tells you the author, the composer, the genre, and the year it came out, and a brief description of the game. So, scrolling through each of the games, it will show you a screenshot. It fades into another screenshot. Here is the basic or the beginner's all purpose instruction code basic for the Commodore 64. So, Boulder Dash, a very good game there. It also tells you about new exciting versions available on a website as well to go to. So, yeah, you can do that if you wish. Scrolling through each of the games, Californian games, a very good game there. Carry on going through the game selection, there is 64 games in this compilation here. No doubt uh, other people will revisit this to see if they can extend that. Everyone's a Wally. I remember that game on the Amstrad CPC 464. Got to find the combination safe, spread across different locations to pay the wages. When in the same area, switch between the characters Willy, Wilma, Tom, Dick and Harry for their different abilities, walk past objects to collect them and so forth. So yeah, that was just a brief description of the game. You can read that back on each of those. It's quite uh, quite well written as well. <laughs> Even though that didn't sound good, how I said it. So yeah, carry on scrolling through, kind of like the mini snares and mini nez. It's got the case cover, and there we are, Monty on the run. So that's a good game. I'd uh, might even give that a test. So you collect the gold coins and all the objects and whatnot and use it to uh, set the Monty Freedom Kit as well so I'm going to try and change some of those now actually because it shows I've got currently a gun, a gun, an axe, an upside down hammer it looks like and a smiley face so I'm going to select a stopwatch, gas mask, uh, torch, compass. Let's go. Alright so we're we'll starting off at the house five lives, the top score is 500 let's see if I can beat that, there's one of the gold coins it says to pick up there we used to have this on the Amstrad CPC 464 but we still got that the colour on the Commodore 64 version is not as bright and as colourful as the Amstrad was on the colour screen but it still looks quite good so what I've already noticed whilst first playing a game is the up and down on the joystick quite stiff so you might have to wear them in. Hmm. I can see this not lasting too long playing this game. It is a difficult game but it is fun to play. Let's see if I can wait, 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 come on. There we go. Alright, so moving on. There's two coins in this one and an object down there on the left hand bottom left. It looks like an ice cream so let's try and get these gold coins. So I've got a score of 200 now, the highest score to get is 500. Oh! Well, at least he's starting me up there. Dodge these guys. Let's go down here to get that coin that I saw earlier. Oh no, it's not, it's the cake. Right, it's giving me 400, so all I need is now 100 more points and I'll get the highest score. Cool. The music on this game is really good. Also, when the fact that you get, when you die, the sound in it is scary and uh, yeah it's giving me nightmares growing up that sound oh squish one life left 
on 450 points. Oh yes. Oh, I can see if I jump across there it might just throw me into whatever that is. Looks like a lava pit or something. A lava volcano. There we go. Alright, let's go and click what they are up there. Is that dynamite? I don't know if I got killed by the dynamite or that ghosty thing, but at least I got 650 points. That music is eerie. There we are, congratulations. Position number one. Right, so if you press button four on your controller, it brings you up this menu here. You can save and load. Behind our logo is a virtual keyboard, it says. So you can put your name in. So apologies for placing our logo there in the middle. Didn't realise that, that would pop up. Yeah, so if you press the fourth button, it brings you up a virtual keyboard that allows you to type your name in. It may also help you do other things as well, playing other games. If you press the button one, that's an enter. If you press button four again on the joystick, it hides away the yeah the virtual keyboard. And then press button four again to exit the game. So that was Monty on the run. So you can, like I say, collect the gold coins and the objects. There's still more games within this compilation. Oh, School Days. Now that is a cult classic. I've only ever played a game similar, maybe called Mikey. Oh, Speedball 2 there, another classic. Spin Dizzy, very good game there, that's it. All of these quite cool games. I think I remember seeing those growing up. But uh, it'd be quite good to relive some of these. So we're back to the beginning now. So let's have a look what game I'm going to choose. It's going to be California Games with the half pipe, skateboarding, fun bag, roller skating, surfing, BMX, and so forth. So, yeah, let's try this one. Whee. It seems like this has got a bit more loading than the other games. It's quite a powerful, hungry game. We've got this on the Game Gear, I think. Well, we've had it on the Game Gear and we've had it on the Master System. So I'm going to compete in just one event, so I need to pick my name, so I use the virtual keyboard again by pressing button 4 and just selecting my name. And then button 1 to enter, and then button 4 to hide away the keyboard, and then select the team that I wish to be. So I don't want a, another player, I just press one of the buttons on the controller. So these are the events I can choose from, I'm going to do surfing because that image looked quite good there. And I think I remember it being quite a nice little game to game mode to play. Bit more on the loading screens or black loading. Could have had something different there, but uh, nevertheless, it's alright. Here we are. Picking up a bit of speed. That's what I've noticed already about this C64. Hold on, give me a sec. Yes, yeah, so what I've noticed about the C64 Mini is different between the Super, or the SNES Mini and NES Mini you can actually exit the game and it takes you back to the main menu to select a game on the controller itself because the NES Mini and the SNES Mini you had to physically get up and press the reset button on your console to go back to the main menu but at least with this one you can press button 4 on the controller that will then take you back to the main menu so you don't have to worry about turning the console off and I don't think I've landed a single jump yet so let's get some speed Got 45 seconds left. That looks good. It is good. So yeah, let's go use the momentum. And there we go. Ruined it. Oh, I've got to give him some points. Some up for my efforts. So our score was 2.4 and new record. Whoa. Don't know if that's loading or if it's just uh yeah, I don't know why it did that. But yeah, it's giving me a trophy. So let's do... Instead of doing all or some of the events, we're going to do one more event. Is that correct? Yes. BMX sounds good. Let's try that one. I remember this being quite difficult, even with a control pad back in the day, or even on a handheld. So let's see how we got on with this one. Quite a lot of loading. Here we go. 
Casio is sponsoring the time here. Uh, hmm. Oh, the slightest bit of movement knocked me off the bike there. Graphics look good for Commodore 64. Anyway, it looks looks like a Mars system game. I think some of the sounds in Monty and the Run seemed like Rocky for the Mars system as well. So some of them may have just shared each other's sounds, but I seem to be doing quite better now. Oh, I think it's just getting the hang of it. Need to get used to the controller as well, but uh, I think that's it. There we are. Got another world record, new record. <sighs> Bloody hell! That does your eyes in. So I got two trophies. That's cool. And I can go back to view the title screen for some bizarre reason if I wanted to. And then press button 4 on the joystick to take me back to the main menu. So right, so that has been the C64 Mini. Uh, I've been Dreamcast UK from ismuchmore.com. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, we would much appreciate it. And we'll see you again soon. You take care of yourself. All the best. Bye bye.